Yes, indeed, the walls of the Kelowna Art Gallery are currently adorned with some of the most iconic art by a Canadian group of landscape painters who eventually became known as the Group of Seven. So ladies, come here. Come here in front of me and let's look at this wonderful picture. While individual pieces of the Group of Seven are regularly included in art and museum shows, it's quite rare for so many to be in one place. The other really interesting thing is the six women artists that are represented in this show. And these are women artists that you would likely not see uh, work from very often. The pieces are all from Hart House in Toronto. In 1919, the Hart House Art Committee began collecting art and focused mainly on the work of the Group of Seven. Their collection quickly gained national and eventually international reputations, and works started being loaned to shows around the world. Getting the exhibit here to Kelowna has been in the works for about two years. Well, the painting behind us is by Arthur Lismer, and he was one of the Group of Seven. And him and the boys used to go out, this was 1920, they would go out in their kind of retrofitted rail car on the weekends. They had day jobs. They'd go out on the weekends and they would paint in the landscapes. What's really interesting about this one though is that we have the sketch. We have the sketch right alongside the main painting. So you've got the sketch that he did in 1920 out in the landscape and then you've got the painting that he finished in the studio about two years later. And when I look at the title, it's called Isolation Peak and that means it's all by itself. Elaine Hatch is a docent at the Kelowna Art Gallery. She will be taking school groups through the exhibit. She has the privilege of being able to explain the historical impact of the pieces and how this art represents our Canadian past. Do you think they'll understand this exhibit? They will get it because Renee will tell us, you know, what's really important and what she would like the kids to get from it and she always has different little teaching strategies to make sure the kids get it and it's really neat to sit the kids in front of a picture and to point things out. We've taken this little painting into our lab and we have a lab that turns over with each exhibition. We have activities that are that complement the exhibition in some way so we've taken the Hauser painting and we've broken it up on a grid so you can go into the lab and you can paint a square of this painting, probably about 10 by 10 square. So each one of those squares becomes a little abstract painting. So you're looking a lot longer and a lot deeper and a lot harder. You're kind of mixing and matching color and recreating this painting. So it's probably about 100 squares, so about 100 people would complete the, I can't wait to see it finished. The Group of Seven founded and celebrated its first exhibit in 1920, and now it's here in Kelowna but only until July. Knowing that they've been sitting in a vault for all these years and no one's ever seen them. And then the question, what's gonna to happen to them after we've all had a chance to look at them? I guess they go back into the vault. From Kelowna, for Shaw, I'm Tammy Williams.